Yeah, I think there's an overall believing by everybody that's here that it's time for us to take a big step up, uh, compete at an elite level, whatever an elite level means right now, whether it's, you know, I, I think walking in the door, we should act like we're playing for a championship. You know, we've had two years to kind of totally revamp a team. Um, you know, I told them it's a little bit like when a college coach comes in new and they inherit, you know, a previous group and it's not their recruits. Well, now we've reached the point where it's our players and uh, enough of them have played together for a while that they now have the opportunity to take a big leap forward and, and they should walk in the door every day, you know, with the idea of competing for a championship on their mind and, and you know, take it one day at a time. But that that should be a goal now rather than just say, hey, we're getting better or we're not that you know bad team from three years ago. We're, we're looking at ourselves as a really good team. And with the addition of Armand T. Harrington to the mix and Carol Lawson, the pro leadership qualities, how will they help the team in that plight that you just spoke about? Well, I think, you know, we, we've had good leadership with Kara and Kia and, you know, Ivory. Now we're adding one more veteran in Arminti who understands what it's like to play at the highest level. She's been in the finals several times. Um, you know, she's not going to be ready to play at the start of the season like she will later on. But just her, you know, voice in the locker room adds one more leadership voice that the younger players can say, hey, they, these guys know what they're talking about. They've competed for a championship. And so uh, I think any time you add that to a locker room, you're, you're getting better automatically. What are the expectations for Taylor Harrell after she has messed it off season? Um, you know, that's a really good question. I think with Taylor, um, it was important for her just to get back on the court last year to see what she needed to do. So the five or six games that she was able to play in gave her kind of a, a game plan for this offseason. Uh, she's worked hard to be in great shape. Uh, I don't know that I have an expectation that's specific right now, um, but we need all of our guards and her particularly because of her athleticism to help us in our, in our transition game offensively. Um, to spread the floor with three-point shooting. And because she's so quick, she can really help us on the defensive end. She's got long arms. She's got quick feet. Uh, she has the ability to get up, come up with steals. So I think, you know, we're looking for a huge improvement on both ends. And just, you know, the fact that now she's a year older and wiser, I think, should help her. Most of the players were here last year, but you've got a bunch yeah. of rookies. Any expectations from any of them? Um, fit in first, uh, learn what we're doing. But I think that, that our rookies have a chance to, to make, it, make an impact this year. Um, you know, we'll start with Ali Malad. I mean, she's, you know, that true version of a stretch four. She can play around the basket and she can step out at the three-point line. She has a great, great offensive sense. I think her biggest adjustment will be at the defensive end. Uh, Natasha Cloud is one of those people that's played all three wing positions or perimeter positions uh, in college. You know, initially we'll probably play her more as a small forward uh, because of her length and her size at six feet. But, I, you know, she can handle the ball well enough to be a point guard at times. And so uh, we're going to use her as a kind of a multi-dimensional offensive player. And then the other part that she has going for is that she's been an all-league defensive player in college for several years. So, you know, she can guard all three perimeter positions, and uh, that gives you the ability to do a lot of different things with your team defensively. So I expect a lot from them right away. Do you feel like this roster, um, obviously adding the new players, uh, looking back at last year in terms of depth, is more versatile than last year? I think so. Um, you know, you have uh, post players that can play around the basket and step out. You have... Uh, perimeter players that can handle the ball, uh, but also spot up and be wing players. We probably have more ball handlers on our team than we've ever had here. Um, you know, we're in training camp, we're letting every perimeter player handle the ball as a point guard at times. And so I think that will put more pressure on uh, opposing defenses when they can't lock in on one particular player. I think that'll help us a lot.